Jamison Williams was in front of the media yesterday. This is courtesy of the Detroit Lions YouTube page. And here's what he had to say. Uh, yeah, I, I would say I would say so. You were primed for some uh, gunner reps and never got them. How disappointing was it to, to not get a shot? Uh, I wouldn't say it was dis it was disappointing. Uh, the offense that, that was good for the offense. Uh, we we, we didn't bring a punt team on the field, so I would say that was a win on that side. Uh, we, we had a great game on offense, not bringing a punt punt out. Uh, we scored forty. Uh, it was just exciting to watch, but I wouldn't say I was disappointed about that. Why is it important for you to, to take that opportunity to play Gunner? Some people don't think you should be doing it, but you, uh, want, you it's, want to do it. It's just an opportunity. You know, I love football. It's just something me to get out there and get my feet underneath. Uh, just like the other plays, run plays, pass plays, everything, you know. You mentioned you, you heard the chants, right? They were chanting for your name. Yeah. How cool was it? How'd that feel? That was good. Uh, you know, I never really got that in college. I mean, I'm in the league now. That was, that was crazy. <laughs> how, much does, how much does another week of uh, building that chemistry with Jared maybe help you? Uh, it's helped a lot, you know. We got we got more and more we we got more and more reps uh with the days going on. So it's been it's helped a lot and it's getting pretty good. You think you're ready for maybe double the load, more load now that you have Uh that's rate. up to the coaches on, on that on that part, but I will be ready for that if, if it comes for sure. Uh I feel like I've grown more as a person. Uh just being I, like on Thanksgiving I got out and got into the community. So my family uh, got a gave a chance, get turkeys out to some people, to some families. So it was just, it was good getting out and experiencing that. So I feel like that was an experience that helped me become more of a step into the mature stage, uh, the man stage. So I've been working on that more and more. So that was one of the, just one of the examples. How'd you feel physically though? You know, was there any, any limitations at all? Nah, I actually feel good. Uh, first couple of days I was thinking, too hard on myself, like looking for something to be wrong, but it really wasn't nothing wrong. So now that I got that under me, I'm I'm pretty good. Is it almost easier to learn now? I mean, you were walking out with the ball in your hands, watching everything, but it's different when you're doing it. Yeah, it's pretty much easier to get out there and go through the motions and be with the team. But me getting out there and being able to watch it, uh, that that helped me a lot because I I could put this together. Okay, this is that, this is that. When I got out there, it was pretty much simple for me. I know this go with that, and players went together. So. It was pretty much, that just was another step to help me get out there, you know? You run hundreds of deep routes in your life, and you know your number's called and you're going to get that first shot. Does, any any jitters, any emotions? Nah, I wouldn't say any jitters. Uh, it's, it's football, you know? <laughs> I say it's something I do, for sure. Yeah. What's it like as a receiver, even being on the sideline, watching this offense? And oh, it was good. Players? You know, we got, we got a great offense. I see, you see we put up 40 points. Uh, we, we've been more consistent this whole year. We've had a lot of great scoring games, a lot of great games on the offensive side of the ball. And being able to watch that, I mean, it's, it's just great knowing like my talent is going to be added to that soon. And this is going to be something that's real excited to watch. I think it was at the draft or maybe your first visit here, you were saying how fast your 40 time would have been if you got to run it. And now all we're talking about is how fast you are. Have you heard that? No. Nah, I really don't even tend to the speed for real. <laughs> like, I don't really pay attention to that. That's, that's something I let other people talk about. Are you happy your speed is being talked about though? Hey, I would say, yeah, yeah <laughs> it's something, it's, it's good, it's good. Feels good. How's it been working with Jared, kind of, you know, working together and saying, hey, this is where I like the ball and getting uh, on the same page? It's good, uh, that chemistry, you know, is, is, is something that's needed. Me, him being my quarterback and me being his receiver, uh, it's something that's, that's, that's very much needed. Uh, when we get out there and get in certain plays and get look get certain defenses, certain looks, he knows where to put it at with the speed I got and how the way I run this route and how that how this route is supposed to be ran. So it's it's going good. Hey yo, you can see Jamison Williams, man. He he's so he he you can see the youth. Like look at his look at his face. Look at his face. He got the little mustache and everything. It's it's funny because like Jamison Williams is super young. <laughs> It's super young, and, and he is going to be such a an explosive option in our uh, on our team, man. And and you know, I I was watching yesterday. I went back and I watched some highlights of Jerry Goff in twenty eighteen. It wasn't that long ago, and Jerry Goff, he was like an elite quarterback, and I was like, man, you know, everybody's so worried if Jerry Goff. 
is going to be able to get Jamison Williams the ball, the ball. And I don't know if it's just what happened last year with him. I think the same thing that happened to Jared Goff is what's happening to Russell Wilson. I, I, I said it. There's no, there's no way Russell Wilson is a terrible quarterback. He's no different from the Russell Wilson he was when he came back and, and took his team to back-to-back Super Bowls, right? He's not, he's not any different. He's just in a different place. And I think that matters tremendously. Jared Goff was he – was, he was, what he was doing in L.A., it looked effortless. He had Todd Gurley, Brandon Cooks. He had Cooper Cup. And I was like, man, this dude, Jared Goff, was fantastic. And I think that we're going to see that more and more. I think Jared Goff, and the reason I brought him up in a Jamison Williams clip is because you can see that the rapport has already started. Jared Goff is like the old season veteran. Jamison Williams is like the new cub, right? And I see good things. I really do. I really do. I see good things between them two. I think it's going to be, I think that vintage JG is going to come back. The 2018, not the one that leads the league in turnovers since 2019. I think vintage JD, JG is going to come back, and I think Jamison Williams is going to have a big part to play in that. I really do. So let me know what you think.